UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said that being a part of the group can boost a nation's economy. Johnson made the comments in an editorial he wrote for a British publication. He said that the so-called Commonwealth advantage knocks off 21% of the cost of trading between member nations. Johnson is also claiming that investment levels between member nations are 27% higher than between non-members. The UK Prime Minister also said the collective GDP of the bloc will increase by 50% in the next five years and will stand at almost 20 trillion US dollars. The Commonwealth Summit is being held in Rwanda this week. The East African nation was actually part of the German Empire and not the British, but it decided to join the Commonwealth in 2009. In the last few days, Rwanda and the UK, of course, have been in the news over the asylum flight controversy in this country. Uh, last week, the first flight set to carry asylum seekers from the UK to Rwanda uh, as part of a deal between the two countries was cancelled. The grounding came after a European Court of Human Rights ruling that at least one of the asylum seekers should stay in Britain as there were no guarantees for their legal future in Rwanda.